Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Now the dope shit about this film by Guy Ritchie, directed by Guy Ritchie, is that this loosely is based off what really happened during World War II. Um, Winston Churchill, the prime minister of the UK at the time, created his own espionage crew to go against the Nazis at the time, okay? So in this film, man, do be in favor before we get into it. You see the numbers I got right here. A lot of y'all tap in every fucking week. Please hit that sub button, hit the like button, comment below. You hate my movie reviews, you love them. I don't really give a fuck. Comment below, like, share, subscribe, interact. Let's get into it. So we got Henry Cavall. Henry Cavall is the protagonist, all right? Winston Churchill needs Henry Cavall to assemble a team of four different dudes who come in and they all come in and they go against, uh, they go to, um, they basically come in as a cleaning crew to uh, destroy a Nazi base and they come in to uh, steal some U-boats, some Nazi U-boats at the time and some supplies that the Nazi U-boats are using. So at the time, in the Atlantic Ocean during the 1940s, the Atlantic Ocean um, was fucking run by the Nazis. You dig what I'm saying? So the UK was getting their ass whooped. Okay, so any ship that was coming from the UK along Africa, because Africa at the time, most of Africa was run by the Nazis, based from the film, um, was getting intercepted by these Nazi U-boats. You know what I mean? Uh, so. We have Winston Churchill who hires Henry Cavall to come in and to uh, steal the supplies that the Nazi U-boats are getting from uh, some some tugboats, some Spanish tugboats. You dig what I'm saying? So the film, man, look, honestly, this movie is like Ocean's Eleven cool. What a shit ton of dope action where it's a bunch of fisticuffs and it's a bunch of dope uh, fighting scenes and it's just it's tight it's a dope film man like it's really dope um, I thought the music was cool I thought the cinematography was cool whoever the DP was did an amazing job uh, Guy Ritchie of course was a director he did a great job um, Henry Cavall did an amazing job everybody in this film did a really good fucking job man so like I said I seen it um, it was a little over two hours, you know what I mean? And I would suggest, I would recommend this to anybody who loves Guy Ritchie films. If you love Guy Ritchie films, this is more of the same dope action shit that he's been doing for the last 20 years. You know what I mean? So what I would suggest, and I recommend this to anybody, I rate this shit a 92. This is a really dope film. You know what I mean? 92. So if you're an action junkie, you love cool kind of, you know, espionage type films, and honestly, um, this is the dope shit about it. Uh, apparently, this was loosely the guy that played Henry Cavall played, Ian Fleming, who was actually the creator of James Bond, he actually loosely wrote it off of this guy. You know what I mean? So that's the dope shit. Like, damn, Ian Fleming got the idea from for James Bond based upon the guy that Henry Cavall played in this film who is, I guess, a real character. It said based on a real story. We don't know how true that is. I don't know. I haven't done the history. I don't fucking know, you know, but the film was tight, real dope. 92 rating. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.